Hey guys, what's up? It's Nickel here, and firstly I'd like to apologise that I've not been able to upload a video in a little while. I've just been moving places, uh, and i finally just settled in now. But, yeah, this video I'm just going to show you how to do SVS, because I know uh, a lot of newer servers are currently going through SVS now, um, because it normally happens when your server's one month old, and since i started uploading videos it's been about a month now so i know quite a lot of years that i've been watching the videos um you now experience svs or you've been experiencing it uh, and i'm just gonna go through what that is and basically a little strategy on how to win because the last few times we've actually won our svs's uh, we've got quite a few powerful players actually on our server anyway but the main keys is donating throughout the week you do the armed race and you get 15 of these military supplies and um, they don't stack so you do have to donate them in that day because uh, as soon as reset hits they do disappear um, so it would be better if you donated to either upper or below normally the people in charge in your server are you know the top alliances will say right let's all donate to below or let's all donate to upper or keep it balanced because the people that win the towers are the people that can go into the tower first and if you can get into the tower first you can teleport to their servers so it is good actually owning the tower so you can load it up straight away and get some of your big guys to teleport straight over um like i say throughout the week you get these different challenges which is arms race anyway and you get these military supplies so just donate them and uh, when it comes down to the actual prep stage that normally lasts a couple of hours it used to be 10 hours but they've changed the rules on it all now and they've changed the timing which in the past it used to be about 3 a.m till 5 a.m for me but now it's at about 12 o'clock in the afternoon so it is a big change really um but i'm quite committed to it so i'll be on no matter what time it is really uh, same with some of my guys in uh, the alliance that i'm in which i'm very thankful for being in and um being one of the ranked people in there it is what it is it is what it is um but yeah um I'll just go to one of these little places now. So, where these little guys are fighting, this will be where the tower is. Uh, so you can normally oh, teleport anywhere over here, load up the towers, and then jump straight in it. And as soon as your server owns that tower, you where it says um, donate supplies, that's where you'll go and jump to server. And basically, when you're on their server, you don't just go out and then start attacking everyone. You've got to do it like a strategy type of thing. And as you can see on here, uh, you have different areas. And now they're named instead of area 1, 2 and whatever. But basically, as soon as you teleport over, you'll be teleported into no man's land, which are in the corners. Um, so, so as soon as you do that, that's when you've got to start taking areas basically and you start from the corner so you'll say if you're in no man's land there you'll go after the africa 07 or the turkey so you start off on the corners and then you've got to have them linking so from africa go to no man's land and then from no man's land you can go to france or uh, you see where i'm going here so they have to be touching and linking and some people they'll rush straight to capital which is the end game really there but what you're going to want to do what i would suggest and others uh, that like killing people and getting the most amount of points is capture all the areas and you've got to make sure they're all touching so no man's land go to turkey no man's land asia you know all connect through that and what i'd say is if you've got a couple of alliances that are quite strong um speak to your server and say right what one a couple of us like a couple of alliances will go for this side and then another alliance will go for that side and then for that side and you know so on so all these areas are all being attacked at the same time 
uh, by different alliances and if you need help just speak on the world chat because as soon as you teleport over you can speak to the people that are on the server that have trans uh, teleported over as well you can't actually speak to anybody that's on your server so what I'd suggest is you zoom out a little and you've got this little touch thing here and you can look back on your map you see at the top so example this is their server um, yeah they're still the same name so you'll want to be you know going you know what I mean um, and they can't teleport into the area once you own that area and the people that are in that area you can start attacking Um, in order for them to actually attack back, they need to take the area or hold it or whatever. But if you own that area, then they can't attack you. And that's why a lot of people get confused like, oh, I'm stuck, I can't attack, I can't do whatever. That's because the enemy owns that area. Um, or they own the tower, um, which is a key thing because you need to have the tower to own the area, if that makes sense. I know it's quite confusing. But once you've done it a few times, you kind of get the hang of it. Um, so on my server, uh, with my alliance and other players on our server, um, we like to, you know, split it in half. So one of our top alliances will go this side, another will go onto the other, and so on. And then we'll just capture all the areas, and then go for the capital. Um, you know, once we've destroyed everything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah hope you've enjoyed this little video about svs um it doesn't really matter about these launch towers um because like i say you're not really gonna want to attack the capital until the very end and once you've owned all the areas they can't fight back they can't attack anything they can't do anything basically um and then let's say they're coming in and invading you um, you want to hit them out the towers and then defend get your top guys uh, post the cowards in the chat on where they're attacking or the areas that they're attacking and just defend your server what I'd say is your level 70s and above go to the other server as soon as it starts um, start planning out on different areas the ones below and maybe a couple of 70s uh, or an 80 if you've got it to stay and defend but the rest over 70 go and attack um, what we do we go on voice chat in discord so it's quite easy for say if we're getting dominated um, and we need to defend somebody will tell us and we'll come back teleport back over um, but the last few times that we've won, uh, we've we've been on a little winning streak to be honest. So hopefully I don't jinx it by this video. Um, but yeah, that kind of works for us. So I hope, like I say, I hope that's helped you out a little bit and understanding what SVS is. Uh, I know it's quite complicated, especially the first couple of times that I played. Um, I didn't have a clue what it was, uh, you know, as oblivious to it really. I always took part in it but I never really understood it um, but the last about four or five times uh, we've understood it now so yeah like I say I hope that's helped you and I'm sorry I've not uploaded in a little while but I hope to start uploading a video a week um, if there's anything that you want uh, if there's any videos or anything you want explaining just hit me up in the comments and just tell me so without further ado please hit that like if you're not subscribed please subscribe and support the channel and peace out brian huh do you want to go to the dance with me what you want some dick <laughs>